Hello everyone, welcome again to Jira Cloud Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create Sprint in Jira Cloud. Now, we have already seen how to create the project and we have already created a couple of projects. Now, Sprint creation or before we actually go ahead in Jira and see how to create the Sprints, let us first understand a brief introduction to the Scrum process right or scrum so this is the image that i have got from wikimedia.org um, so i've just just accessing it and this briefly explains basically what exactly happens in the agile development approach and in scrum this is uh, you know the the overall workflow that you can say or the framework that scrum follows so you have the product backlog and product backlog is nothing but uh, you can say a set of requirement which are defined in the form of user stories written uh, with the end user keeping in mind and how the end user is going to interact with the system and that product backlog is a very you know could be very high level requirement and then these requirements are refined or basically uh, brainstorming happens discussion happens and then the refinement process happens which uh, is uh, when we say backlog refinement it is basically breaking down the big chunks of work into smaller pieces of work so that you can actually achieve it within the small time frame which is sprint two to four week cycle now once this product backlog is being refined um, the top items in the product backlog are being pulled into the sprint and sprint in scrum is nothing but the two to four weeks cycle or iteration now once you have the work items added into the sprint then within the two to four week cycle so here it says 30 days uh, which so a sprint can go up to four weeks as well and that is why it says 30 days here but ideally in most of the scenarios you will see that sprint is mostly two weeks or the you know max three weeks so two weeks is very standard nowadays used across the organization so two to four week cycle and then every day or every 24 hours you have the stand-up meetings to see what you have done yesterday what you are planning to do today and what are there any impediments or blockers so those things are being discussed in you know daily stand-ups and after this sprint cycle there is a working increment so working software is the key measure of progress in scrum right in agile development so you have the working increment now let's go back and correlate this sprint backlog or creation of sprint with this particular process now when we talk about the jira tool jira maps very well to the agile scrum or kanban and that is why it is very widely very easy to you know understand and use it because it maps very well to the to the agile you know frameworks that are there so now so for example i want to create a sprint to you know either a next gen project or next gen scrum or you know classic so to create a sprint in next gen scrum here you can see you have the backlog as well right and when you talk about backlog backlog in jira here is basically backlog of the stories or epic whatever right or defects so any item that needs to be picked up for the development uh, and delivered in the you know after the end of the sprint uh, that that needs to be completed is is mentioned as a backlog it's nothing but a requirement uh, as it was uh, used in the traditional approaches like waterfall methodologies in the waterfall methodology we had you know uh, the requirements document in agile we have these user stories epics etc so these are nothing but the requirement the the piece of work that needs to be done so that is the backlog and if we correlate that with the diagram here so the backlog is the the work items here in the scrum and then in jira you have the backlog work items now to create a sprint you simply have to click on create sprint button here okay so this is the next gen scrum project i'll simply create a sprint and the sprint got created now once you create the sprint you have to plan the sprint right so when we say plan the sprint we simply uh, need to pick the work items from the backlog to the sprint right so say for example in this particular sprint which is two week cycle or one week cycle, I want to finish 
uh, four work items or four stories so i'll pick the work items or the the work items from backlog and put it into the sprint the next thing is to basically start the sprint right so when you say start sprint the timeline of that two week cycle or the sprint cycle that you define will start okay so we have created the sprint now let's click on start sprint and here you can see as soon as you will say start sprint it will provide you the name of the sprint so you can change the name as per your desired name of the project uh, i'll just keep it as default which which is the project key and the sprint one and then duration you have you know you can select the duration usually one to four weeks or you can specify the custom duration as well now standard is two weeks i'll keep it as two weeks and as you select two weeks it will automatically pick the start date and end date and then you have sprint goal sprint goal is but nothing but what you want to achieve at the end of this sprint in terms of business uh, you know um, language or uh, the high level goal that is that you want to achieve so for example you are implementing the login functionality of a portal now login uh, feature could be using your google account your facebook account your other social media account or using your email uh, address and password so there are multiple possibilities or multiple features that need to be built in the login functionality now as part of this sprint say for example i want to uh, enable i want to implement login functionality using google account so that can be one of the sprint goal so that is documented here um, we want to achieve right so we want to achieve login functionality using google account okay so something like that and then simply start the sprint as soon as the sprint will start you will see that you are redirected on the board so this is the next gen scrum project and the four stories that we have chosen are in the column to do right now these stories need to be assigned to the team members so you have the team members they'll be you know assigned to the team members and team members will start working and they'll move the as as the work progresses they'll move to in progress and then finally if the work is done they'll move it to done so this is how you will create the sprint and start the sprint in the next gen project now going back to the classic project process is exactly same now we have this backlog right now backlog it's similar as we have seen in in the next gen project it looks very similar except uh, you know this classic project in jira is very close to the server version of jira so to create a sprint simply click on create sprint and you can see that it has created this sprint. now you have to plan this sprint. so as a team you have to basically agree what work needs to be completed and you simply drag and drop the work items into the plan right so for example for this particular project i want to complete story one task one story three and say story five okay story five and story two let me close this okay all right so for example i have i want to achieve these four items for this particular sprint and you you can see the sprint name is already taken the key project key and sprint one to start the sprint simply start sprint it will prompt the similar you know sort of window uh, except the difference in the look and feel between next gen and classic project it will prompt for the duration the date uh, will be picked accordingly you can change it if you want you provide the sprint goal and then 10 working days basically in two sprints and simply start the sprint and now you can see those four work items are being displayed on the board into the to do column right so this is brief introduction how you can create the sprint in jira and also a brief introduction of you know the product backlog and sprint backlog now when we say product backlog was the backlog that is available here right so the the overall backlog of your product roadmap or what you need to achieve in you know like six months to one year so all that work item is will be in the product backlog and this backlog 
needs to be refined it, it's uh, it's you know it, it can have multiple new items being added in the later phases when we say sprint backlog it's the backlog or the items that are there in the sprint so story one task one story two and story five are the sprint backlog which needs to be completed in this particular sprint so when we say sprint backlog it is the backlog or the work items within the sprint so this introduction i took from the diagram just to correlate the scrum process with jira so that it's easier for you to understand when i talk about backlog and the sprint backlog or creating the sprint and starting the sprint in jira so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching